He's been the world's number one DJ for two years in a row. Introducing Hardwell. With millions of fans, he's taken his show on a global tour, rivaling those of today's biggest pop stars. Dance music grew up, uh, blew up in America. Uh, Asia is bigger than ever if it comes to dance music, and uh, it's great to see there's so many new opportunities for dance music, for concerts, for festivals, for for labels, for every single body. You know, it, dance music is is growing out, is, is is getting out of control right now. It's like bigger than ever. And while the Dutch DJ has not only marketed his music, he's also marketed his brand. We sold out a Madison Square Garden show and when we started to we were aiming for five, six thousand venue capacities and now we did Madison Square Garden, the whole world tour, 35 different countries. So yeah, it's definitely been way bigger than we ever expected before. Now DJ Hardwell is performing right now in front of a sold out crowd and this is just one of more than 350 events taking place over the course of the next couple of days. More than 350,000 people from all over the world are expected to come to Amsterdam and if you want a better barometer of just how popular dance music is right now take a look right behind me it's one of the biggest economic drivers for the city and Hardwell has seen its rise to popularity over the last decade dance music is finally accepted to be an official genre in music instead of being that underground weird kind of music and well that that creates opportunities opportunities to work with big pop artists but even go the other way. Hardwell also points east to future growth prospects for this type of music, especially in India. I think it's 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 a good goal to to do like EDM shows in in countries that never expected to have a big DJ or EDM show. So as Hardwell continues dominating the charts, it's another question how long he'll be able to stay at number 1. Philhan, CNBC, Amsterdam.